right, let's smash for duck park. Grill. Set. Good. Break. Good girl. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Off, no mountain. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Seemed like he started when the other male showed up, so he's trying to assert his dominance or show us it's my girl <laughs> back up. <laughs> yeah, I think it yours as a boy. Yeah. Yeah. He got a not here, is that a family party, but he got attacked by another dog and it like totally changed how he His demeanor, yeah. yeah. That sucks. Or his temperament, what do they call it? Yeah, unfortunately, that's all it takes sometimes. It's one incident to yeah. totally change them. I guess over time, you can build up enough more positive experiences. We'll override that eventually, but it might take a while. My dog is intact. Uh uh. Pixie, don't let him out. Yeah, there you go. You guys taking off or are you just keep it on there for a minute and let him show? What's that? Are you guys leaving or are you just put him on there for a minute to keep him under control? Yeah, I'm just gonna show Right on. Hey, off. Is there only one part? 
right? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Caucasian of Charka. Caucasian of Charka, also known as Caucasian Shepherd. Sometimes called a Caucasian Mountain Dog. I had one when I was a little kid. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, used to follow me everywhere. Yeah, they're livestock guardian dogs. So you know the breed then? Most people don't know it. I didn't know what type of dog it was, but he reminded me. I saw him. Yeah, she's still a puppy, so she hasn't filled out yet. Usually, they kind of get the more blocky head or sometimes they get the look by more like the I think I'll call it the sparling care or something another dog from that area that's like a smaller build and narrower head more like the German Shepherd look but yeah how you doing Hi, how are you? good good seeing you again you too sir you leaving have a good night you too Maybe you know, there's less competition, it'll be less of an issue, right? Yeah. Well, then again, unless they all run over towards the dogs that are leaving. <laughs> I think that golden that keeps them out there is the, with the uh, older guy. Okay. Huh? Is, is what? Male dog. Yeah, that one that kept them out there, I'm pretty sure it's a male. The last one leaving right now. Yeah, she is. She's intact, so it makes it hot stuff for a lot of dogs, a lot of milk dogs. And I don't, I don't mind any of the play as long as she's not, they're not humping. Yeah, she's, she's guilty of that. <laughs> she's still technically a puppy, I guess. She'll be, she's almost 22 years old, but 23 okay. months as of a few days ago. Yeah. They fill out to their about, she, her growth plates are closed, but they fill out to their about three. So she might fill out a little more, but her growth place closed a few months ago. Livestock guardian dog. So a little bit different. They don't hurt them so much, so they just keep the wolves, wolves and bears away from them. But she, no, ours here. Oh, yours is. Okay, gotcha. She's a Kelpie, Australian Kelpie. Yeah, someone commented on one of the videos. It was a smaller dog like that one um, that they see bigger dogs as kind of like, like livestock to be herded. So they try to play with them. In like a hurting way. And that's what she does. Yeah. She hurts us sometimes. <laughs> She'll come by me and take my hand and then leave me. Oh, nice. And nip at my ankles if she thinks I'm going to Bella. Bella. Glad it cooled down a little bit once that sun went down. Yeah. It's supposed to be got a quote unquote heat warning for the next few days. It's supposed to be like. Yeah, 98 or 100 plus all week. I think for the next couple of days, Wednesday through Friday or something. How y'all doing? Good. I've seen you before. Your uh, is it your brother that owns the Legends Boxing? Uh, my dad. Or your dad, yeah. yeah, yeah. What was your name again? Mason. Mason, cool. Drew, good seeing you. Yeah, good to see you. Been a minute. Yeah. It's been so hot. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. I don't take her out until the evening usually. Yeah. And I and I moved to Orm oh, okay. at the beginning of June, so I've been going to the parks up there in American Fork. Yeah, it's like not as good. <laughs> I'm looking at moving to Vineyard in, the, in a month. So. Yeah, I mean, like our, the American Fork Dog Park is not that great. It's just it's right in the middle of kind of a bunch of dirt. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they have a separate uh, small dog and big dog area, mm -hmm. so they don't have uh, space for um, you know yeah. to, to let the grass regrow like they do here alternating. Exactly. Um, Art dies nice. It's got a bunch of trees and bushes. Okay. Just North American Fork, and then uh, 
what's the other one? Uh, Willow Park Dog Park. Okay. Yeah. Uh, been that's, high. Yeah, and they've been yeah. building, they're putting turf down and putting planting more trees and stuff. Oh, cool. So that one's a little bit. Uh, it's starting to develop that more. I guess it used to yeah. just be like a little small dog run for the people that were camping there. Yeah, that's right. But they've expanded right. quite a bit. Yeah. So those three in that area are good. And then I went up to, uh, I went up to uh, Taylor's Rodays Taylor's Rode last week or the week before, whenever it was. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Orem Fest up there in Orem. Okay. Little carnival. So I got some good exposure to a bunch of different noises and people there. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then, oh, Yappy Hour. They had Yappy Hour at Fairmont Park. Okay. Up in Salt Lake, Salt Lake Park, and back coast that every every summer, and they got one this Thursday at uh, I think it's Liberty Park. Oh nice! So I'll probably take her up to that one. But it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be a hot Thursday too. So yeah, it's a hot week this week. I need to get one of those little uh, like the portable water bottles that flatten out. You know, you can just clip it to your belt or whatever. Yeah, I need to get one of those too. Because they're usually pretty good about having like free water they give out just for people in general. Yeah. So if you have that, it'll help that makes <laughs> <sense>. <laughs> keep your dog hydrated too. I just had her groomed at Pest Mart, so she's got a lot, shed a lot of her winter coat, but she still gets hot pretty easy. Yep, that's all the, these little patches here from him. I've been scraping them out because he's just shedding them. Out. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah. I was I was doing like a grocery bag, like plastic bag full of hair, like handfuls every like two or three times a week for a few weeks, and I was like, forget it. I'm just gonna get her groomed. Yeah. They have like the Ferminator de-shedding yep. shampoo and that Ferminator tool they do, and they go all out with they, you can pay a little bit extra and get like not just clipped nails but get them like grab them right grind it down grinding, yeah. yeah so i did all that yeah she's pretty about good about clean herself especially in the winter she's outside so she plays in the snow gets clean that way yeah so i, I mean i was thinking about taking her to mom pa's bakery and doing the self-wash oh, yeah. there but she's not really i mean she's an outdoor dog she's not a, an apartment dog they got to keep spotless all the time you yeah, know exactly. so <laughs> I just do it in the summer and then, you know, get into the fall or whatever. Yeah. yeah he rolled in something a couple weeks ago and I had to take him down to the dog wash over here at like midnight. Oh boy. Where's that dog wash at? What was that? Where's the dog wash near here? Uh, it's just like, I think it's like Center Street. It's just on like the other main road from this one. So it's like the Domino's and the chicken car wash, or the, the chicken gas station. Um, oh, okay. I think I know where the Domino's is, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like right in that, like, strip area nice how's your dog doing he's been good yeah. he's just it's the one up there by the fence right yeah yeah he's just been hanging out he's been playing a lot which has been good so, yeah my, i always watch my dad's dogs and he's glad to be done with them so he's a little pomeranian so oh boy little, little yappers <laughs> oh yeah those are the dogs that irritate me sometimes yeah, oh, they're mean, you said? Oh, yeah. Like, they'll steal his toys and then attack him if he gets too close and stuff. Oh, wow. Like, run after him. Like, they'll lock him out of rooms to where they won't let him in. Oh, wow. Well, it's good that he, I guess, kind of tolerates it instead of tearing him up like he probably yeah. could. Oh, yeah, he could, but he's just like, okay, I'm, I, I guess I'll just walk away now. <laughs> Hi, Pixie. Hi. Does your dog play with many dogs or not so much because they're usually bigger than them and they don't want to play with them? Uh, yeah, he, he used to play with them, um, but I actually didn't know this dog park existed. Oh, really? <laughs> For like two years, yeah. You live in the area or? Well, no, so I, bought, I came from California. I'm not from California. Oh, okay. You're not one of those Californians, are you? <laughs> no, so I was stationed there in the area. Oh, thanks for serving our country. Yeah. So... We moved here. We had a dog park in California that he played every day at. Oh, nice. And we were away for like two years, and then he got attacked at that family party, and he was like, 
Oh, uh, so you've been kind of not taking him out as much because of that? Well, no, I, I, I'm trying to take him out more now. Oh, good. Just so he's not, just so you can, like, socialize him. Yeah, it's kind of like getting back on the horse, right? you got to get back to it and hopefully have good experiences. Yeah, this one, they have a smaller one. I guess it was the first one they had, a really small one you're here. So if you do want to take them there, um, if you just look up on Google Maps, Spanish Fork Dog Park, there is another one, a oh, couple really? blocks. I think it's just a little ways that way. Um, but um, so I know people like if their dog doesn't behave or if it's in heat and they want to take it there, like if there might not be other dogs or if there's less dogs. So that is an option too, if you want to take them there. I mean, she seems to do fine right now, but just in general, if you want to take them to that smaller one on some days, if this one's really chaotic or busy or there's some dogs there that he's not vibing with, you can always take him to that one too. And so I just- Sometimes he has really good days where he's kind of like back to how he used to be. Oh, nice. Like today is kind of weird. <laughs> Have you figured out what his triggers are or anything? Or if he has any certain dogs, the types that send him off? Or? Well, the one that attacked him was a pit bull. Oh, uh, so the bully breeds he kind of tries away yeah. from usually? Or? Yeah. But, like, like before then, he never had an issue. He's might have to put like his collar or his, uh, not shot collar, but we just beeped at him. Yeah, the vibrator over or the beep? Yeah. Yeah, those are handy. But need to start working on her recall. I should have been doing it like when I first got her. But yeah, I saw a guy talking about. So you do like obviously you can do like you know in the backyard or whatever. But then you can take use a long lead and then just kind of like pull them in with it and, and reward them as you're, you know, just give them praise or whatever you want to do with it. That and then once you do that for a while, then you can use the e collar or whatever. And usually the vibrate will work just fine. It's kind of like hey, I'm over here and goose. What's he called? Goose. goose yeah. Like from from uh, Top yeah. Gunner, <laughs> nice. Hey, he just he loves to run like it's insane. <laughs> uh, Bel Belgian Malinois or what German Shepherd? Uh, he's a Belgian Shepherd Belgian Malinois mix. Oh okay. I was that's what I thought he was a German Shepherd when I got him. DNA test that I was wrong. So fifty fifty then. If you ever rescue a dog, I go to like rich areas and go to their animal shelter because I got him for a hundred bucks. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and he probably cost you know several hundred or a thousand yeah. or whatever because he's a Belgian. Well, I guess if the, the crossbreed though, if it wasn't pure bred, he might have been cheaper, but yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so if I ever get another one, I'll probably go to like Park City or something. Right. You got like old people getting rid of their dog or something. Yeah, or some rich people, the kid begs one, one for one for Christmas or something, and, yeah. <laughs> and then they this wait. One, he, uh, he was. Like his owner passed away or something. Oh man. In like an extremely rich area. Well, I can see he's shedding quite a bit too, huh? Yeah, this is just shedding season. Yeah, I just she's been shedding a lot, but I just barely had her. She dropping a load over there or just peeing. <laughs> no. He may not be around a lot of intact females either. It might be part of it. A lot of people get their dogs fixed. Leave it, Pixie. You get some water? Okay. Well, it was funny. I, was, I saw him eating the bottle or chewing on it or biting it, but then he... Eventually we figured out it was already in the bowl. <laughs> Here's a beagle. Huh? What kind of dog is it? German short hair. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I guess beagles are smaller than that, right? Different coloring too. <laughs> He's like, you know what? What are you going to do? Take her out? <laughs> Dripping out of her mouth? Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> right. When he's getting jealous, huh? <laughs> Just playing. Yeah. Jealous of attention. I mean, sometimes I get jealous of attention. Thanks for the water. I got a container in my car, but um, they used to have some bowls they'd leave here, big metal bowls, like community bowls I want to use, but the last kind of time I came here about a month ago, they didn't have them anymore. But I got her a little portable bowl in the water. Yeah, in the car, I mean. That's smart, just Tupperware, right? If you forget it, you just, you know, don't, I mean, <laughs> it's no big deal if you lose it. <laughs> if they notice it's missing, right? It just depends on how many you have. Thanks again for the water. Come on, please come play. You're gonna say hi to him. Say thank you. How old is yours? Right on. That puppy energy, huh? She's pretty thirsty. <laughs> she got a water bowl at home, got a water bowl in the car. Guess she just got thirsty from all the run around here. Is he usually for that vocal? She, she is intact, so the other guy that just left with the Belgian Melna. <laughs> Coming back around. The other one doesn't usually bark either, I guess, but it's probably because she's intact, so they get all excited. Play with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make a game out of it, huh? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that little one is cute. Hi. It's like the little brother trying to play with the big brother, right? Or the big dogs, big business friends.
Hi, Pixie. You having fun? That's one way to play, huh? <laughs> Through the fence? <laughs> What kind of dog is yours? He is a uh, part Jack Russell Terrier and part Shih Tzu. Okay. Hi. And so, uh, running the fence line, get some of the run out. Right, that's good. And he seems friendly. I know some dogs don't get, some little dogs don't get along with big dogs or they feel intimidated by them, so. Now yours is uh, Cog husky? Nope, that's, people think that a lot of that they get a husky or a kita, but she's called a, the breed is a Caucasian of Charka. Okay. Also known as a Caucasian Shepherd or Russian Bear Dog. Oh. They used to keep wolves and bears away from sheep and goats in the Caucasus Mountains area, Georgia and the surrounding countries. Yeah. And then the Russians used them as uh, guard dogs and prison dogs. So she's the one of the litter. Her mom weighs twice her weight at 180 pounds. So oh, wow. she's 23 months old now. So she, her growth plates closed about I don't know three or four months ago. So she'll fill out a bit more, but she won't get anywhere near as big as her mom. But love her the way she is. So yeah. I knew she was around when I got her. So didn't think she would get. You got her from the breeder? Yeah. She was the last one to go from the from the litter. I got her at five months. Oh, okay. So she'd been trying to sell her for a couple of months. Yeah, the breeder's up in West Valley. How old is yours? He is nine. Okay. Getting up there, but not real old yet, huh? Yeah. Guess it depends on the breed, too. Do both of your dogs breed? The smaller dogs seem to live a little longer, don't they, in general? About 15 years, I guess? About 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, a lot of that, I'm sure, has to do with how you know good you take care of them, diet and exercise, just like with us, you know, right? Yeah. You don't mind me asking how old are you, sir? I'm uh, 75. Okay. I don't know, I'm 48. Oh, okay. So what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a DJ right now is all I'm doing right now. I DJ at a club on the weekends oh, on Saturdays okay. called Elixir Lounge. And then um, I do weddings too. They're in this you oh. know, wedding season in the warmer months. So I got a wedding from this Saturday. It's a family that used to go to my one of my old churches. So I knew him when he was a little guy and now he's uh -huh. grown up and getting married and DJing for his wedding, his mom hired me. So and then I got two weddings the following Saturdays and then I got a couple of weeks off and then a couple, I think three weddings next month too in August. Uh -huh. And then one September, I think and one October. So it kind of dies down as it gets colder out. Yeah.
Yeah, my dog, there's a uh, Belgian Malinois, Belgian Shepherd mix that was here. Okay. And a couple other bigger dogs, and they were going at it hard for a bit, so I think my dog's kind of tired, and your dog seems to be content just kind of exploring, huh? Yeah, yeah. He comes here more for the people than the dog. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the way mine used to be when I first got her at five months. Like I said, I think, you know, I got her, her puppy shots, and then uh, about, about six months, I started taking her to dog parks, and... Uh, she would get swarmed by the dogs, you know, and then she'd be like, you know, wouldn't really pay you much attention back, so they'd leave her alone. And then she'd go around all the people and kind of post up on their shins and get to know all them. And then when she got to know all the people, then she'd, you know, find some dogs that she wanted to play with and play with them a lot. Um, and then it moved towards, after a few months of that, probably for about six months or so, it was, she was still, like, people curious, but not always having to go meet them first. Like, oh, okay. she liked dogs and people equally. Yeah. And now she's less curious about people. She just plays with the dogs. But even the last couple of months, it's been just more about exploring. Like she won't go right to playing. She'll spend a lot of time just, you know, marking her territory and exploring the park, you know, rather than actually, you know, trying to engage with the dogs as much. Yeah. But it's just like people, you know, it just depends on the day, you know, if she wants to play or not. Some days she plays a lot and some days she plays hardly at all, you know. Guy over here has got some water in that Tupperware jar. He bought a container, so oh, yeah. she's been quite popular. But <laughs> he's been quite popular with Pixie because he's got water. Well, good talking with you. So I'm gonna follow her and probably head out. Okay. Have a great day. You have a great day. Thanks.